the little community of Watts clings to the outer edge of the city of Los Angeles, a scattered collection of shacks, trailers, and weather-beaten bungalows. Flat and impoverished, it is the last place on earth to look for the extraordinary or for the shadow of greatness. People of the town have long wondered about Simon Rodilla. Simon Rodilla, tile setter by trade, Italian born, American for half a century, builder of defiant towers. the tower of myself and I got a bed under my mind. I know I want to do something. I, I, I say I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something. For 30 years a man lives alone in a house with a bed, a chair, a table. With the music and the faded symbols of a time when he was young. something else in the house, a dream of vast structures. For 30 years, every day, every moment outside his work for a living, in the light and in the darkness, Simon Rodilla labored to express the dream. seashells, broken bottles, pebbles, shattered tiles, with the discarded, the unwanted, the useless, with the debris of a machine-ridden civilization he avoided. He gave color and texture and vitality to the towers as they arose out of his inner necessity. With steel girders, with wire mesh, with concrete, with a bucket, a shovel, a hammer, a chisel, and with his two hands, Simon Rodilla built, inch by inch, the huge and complex structures that look down from their heights upon the plain. As the towers became a part of the landscape, the neighbors living under their shadow were sometimes doubtful, sometimes tolerant, often bewildered. I don't know what it is myself. I don't know what it is. I've often wondered what it is. There's rumors about what this might have been. Some people thought that during the time of war it might have been a secret radio tower. It's just a work of, of, uh, of art of an individual, don't you think? 
the gentleman that made it here, I remember about almost 10 years ago, he was still working on it. So it's a, it's a, it's a piece of artistry of his, and uh, I guess he gathered the material here and there. To make a pretty scenery, I think. So people would come and he could make that place famous around here, anyhow. Well, my estimation about it is not many people seem to know anything about it. Because I lived here since 1940, and I didn't know anything about it in two blocks of it. I was on May Avenue, and didn't even know nothing about it. I don't want to pass and see me. It was believed that uh, Tokyo Rose was born here. Right? And they said, well, uh, she was born in Watts, and most likely she was born here. <laughs>